Welcome. In this tutorial, we will look at some of the ways that you can edit your video and audio captures in Camtasia before publication. The audience for this tutorial is anyone who has viewed the basic Camtasia tutorial and would like more information about editing their recordings. To use Camtasia, you can come to the library and the program is available on select computers. For more information on availability, contact Tom Harrod at tph at gwu.edu. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to explain and employ many of the common editing techniques for Camtasia. Now let's go out to the Camtasia program and take a look at some of these editing techniques. Here we see a Camtasia project that I was working on in my previous Camtasia tutorial. The first editing technique that I'd like to look at is the zoom and pan. So I'll click here, and then I can move my mouse and grab the corner, and this allows me to change the focus and zoom in on one part of my slide. So if we go over to the right, we'll see what that looks like. Also, if you go down to the timeline, you can see this blue icon here, which indicates when that will occur, when the zoom and pan will occur. I can actually stretch out the icon to make the zoom slower. The next editing technique that I'd like to show is the callout. So I will click here, then up here in the le upper left I can select add callout. Uh, now I can move, uh, resize, and even rotate the callout icon. And if I go back here, I can click in text that will actually show up on the callout button itself, as you can see here. Also, if I look in the timeline below, I can see on track 3, it shows me when the callout will appear, how long it will last, and when it will end. And I can change the size of this as well and move it up and down the timeline. Now I'm going to go ahead, move forward in the timeline and I'm going to add a new callout. So I'll change the shape and remove the text and then move it around. I can put in some different text and then go down here and click on make hotspot and then go to hotspot properties. This particular icon will pause the tutorial and it will only continue once you click other options are that I can actually link a URL to the hotspot. As you can see, my project is comprised of two video captures. Let's play the video and see what the transition looks like. As you can see, it's a very abrupt transition between the two slides. Camtasia has an editing tool that allows you to make it a much smoother transition by adding in a specific visual effect. So let's click on Transitions, and then I can scroll down here and choose which visual effect I want. For this, I'm going to take the Pixelate effect. So I will left-click and drag it down and place it between the two video captures. Now let's play it again and see what it looks like. As you can see, the addition of that video effect makes the transition between the two captures much more visually appealing. Now let's actually view this video and see what these effects look like. Here is the arrow callout. Next, we'll see the zoom and pan feature. There was the pixelated transition, and here was the button callout. During the course of this tutorial, we looked at transitions, zoom and pan, and callouts. These are probably the three most commonly used editing tools within the Camtasia program. 
If you have more questions on this or you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment to talk about your Camtasia project, please feel free to contact me. My email address is tph at gwu.edu.